Welcome back to Let's Review, it's I'm Diecast Geek, and in today's Diecast Review, we're going to be taking a look at Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2016, number 88, Nishwan Children's Chevrolet SS 400 Motorsports. And as you guys can see, this is a 164 scale diecast, and is also on the ELO mold. So, anyway guys, we're going to get started here. I'm going to start here with the front end, and then we'll move on uh, from there. So, anyway guys, here on the front of the car, here on the name banner, you have Earnhardt Jr. with two Chevrolet logos on each side. Then here on the hood of the car, uh, you have some butterflies with Nationwide Children's. And then here on the front bumper of the car, you have the Chevrolet logo with Chevrolet SS, 88, and Hendrick Motorsports. And that is the front end of the car. So anyway guys, down the left side of the car, you have some contingencies there. Then you have the Goodyear logo with the Goodyear Eagle tire. Then you have some more butterflies flying around the side here, which is pretty neat. Then you also have some more consensies, then the NASCAR race, or not the NASCAR race car logo, but the NASCAR Spring Cup Series logo. Then on the A pillar you have the NASCAR race car logo. Then here on the door you have 88, right below that you have the uh, little arrow pointing to the jack area there on the side skirt. Then you have Mountain Dew and some more butterflies there. On the B pillar you have some sponsors like Exulta, Bosch, uh, Freightliner, Mac Tools, and Siemens. Then here on the name rail you have uh, the North Carolina State flag, Dale Jr. and Tendrick Motorsports. Here on the roof you have the 88, which is actually a pretty cool looking color there on the 88, I like that. And then towards the back end to the left side you have Nationwide Children's, you have another little butterfly there. On the corner panel you have Exulta, then you have the American Ethanol Ring, the Goodyear Eagle Tire. Wrapping up the left side on the C-pillar you have the TaxSlayer.com logo and Valvoline. So that is the left side, looks really good. I love this paint scheme, I think it's really really cool. I think it was his last paint scheme he drove in 2016. Uh, and I think that was at Kentucky, so anyway, here on the back bumper of the car, you have Vaveline, then you have 88, SS, and SS once again, then you have uh, some more butterflies flying around there, and then the Nationwide Children's logo, then you have the uh, Chevrolet logo right there, and that's wrapping up the back bumper, and then here on the deck lid, you have some more butterflies with the Nationwide Children's, and then wrapping up the back end of the car, here on the roof for the roof sponsor, you have Nationwide Children's, so that is the back end of the car, here is the right side, exactly the same as the left so we will not go over it but I will show you and that is the right side here is the bottom of the car I'm going to show you guys real quick as you can see there it says EL mold but here is the bottom of the car really cool you got 2016 Chevrolet SS or Chevy SS but yeah that is going to wrap up this video guys hope you enjoyed it let me know up there in the poll or down in the comments what you think about this car do you like this paint scheme? If you do, you can click yes, or you can hit no, or you can just click I'm not really sure because maybe you don't know because you really don't care or it's just kind of a weird paint scheme. But you can let me know that up there in the poll or down in the comments either way. Uh, but yeah guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I would definitely recommend this die cast. It's a great looking die cast. I personally love this paint scheme. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's got a really, really cool blue. Uh, that blue number on the top just looks awesome. And it's just a really plain, simple uh, paint scheme. It's not, it doesn't have old crazy uh, designs on it. It's just simple, a blue paint scheme with some decals on it. So I think this paint scheme is really cool. It looks really good on shelf and it will definitely look good in stop motions or in pictures on Instagram or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is a really great die cast. I would definitely recommend it. And that's going to be it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And that's going to be it. I'm Diecast Geek and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a like. Also, if you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, you can do that by clicking the Diecast Geek logo right there where it says subscribe. And if you'd like to check out more videos, you can do that by clicking the boxes off to your left. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, you can do that by following me at Diecast underscore Geek.